Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is an energy of long-term security, stability. Um, this is a wealthy kind of energy. Um, this is spiritual as well as material wealth. Um, someone could be ready to invest in securing a future with you. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. We have the Nine of Swords in the reverse, Air Energy, the Sun, Leo Energy, and we have the Page of Swords, Air Energy. So someone has been really thinking a lot about you, and it looks like this person wants to make something known to you. They, they may want to express their truth to you. It looks like whatever they're expressing to you is something that could bring a lot of joy and positive energy, um, because the Sun card, that's happy energy. You know, that's just like you guys moving into a happy period in your love life, um, and Someone is really going to be showing you that they think about you a lot and that they they genuinely are curious about you. This is someone who cares about meeting your needs and understanding you on a deep level. Um, so I'm seeing someone giving you a lot of reassurance and you'll be feeling like you've got this person, like they are committed to you. So let's clarify these cards. Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is someone who's coming towards you. They're, they're taking action. They're initiating a new beginning. Um, this is someone who's being bold, you know, really just confidently pursuing and making their intentions known. Let's see. We have the Six of Swords, Air Energy, the Emperor, Aries Energy, and the Knight of Wands, Fire Energy. So yeah, this person is very passionate about you and... They want stability with you. Um, this is someone who, you know, I'm seeing loyal energy. Someone who wants like a, a partnership, like a power couple. Someone that they can have a legacy with. Um, they have genuine intentions. There's a peaceful energy with the Six of Swords. Um, this is someone who's ready to move forward with you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Virgo. Okay, we have it's time to release negativity full moon in scorpio okay we have religious factors your love life is Influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have rebirth and new beginnings. 
New beginnings are often disguised as painful endings. This person, they are ready for this beginning with you and it looks like they are in it to win it. They're in it for the long haul. They want this to lead to the 10 of pentacles. You know, this is a very solid energy. It's like they could see themselves growing old with you. Um, this is someone who's willing to do whatever it takes to achieve that with you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a, a card for your advice, Virgo. Okay, so we have surrender defensiveness. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out, then offer a clear, non-defensive response. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Virgo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Virgo. Bye, Virgo.